Hello guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install the Resurrection Remix 5.8.2 in our Lenovo K4 Note. This as you can see over here is the official Nougat Resurrection Remix ROM. Offi what does official mean? It means that you will be regularly getting OTA updates and it, our ROM will also be managed by the RR developers, the, that is the Resurrection Remix developers. It is one of the stable built ROMs and but it is one of the stable built ROMs and you can see many up updates coming in this ROM in the future. However, this ROM I believe does not have an OTA, uh, does not have VOLTE in it. So for the Geo users, you will have to install the Geo 4G voice to be able to use the calling feature from the Geo. So without any further delay, let us download this ROM. The download link is given over here. Do not worry, I will be giving the link of this forum in the description below. Please make sure to hit a like, hit, hit the thanks button in this in this forum to support the developers. Also, if you want, you can pay the developer. It will give added support for the development as the developers do need money, even though they do it for free. So let's click and download the ROM. From here, you can download the ROM. I already have it downloaded and copied to my mobile so I will not be downloading it you can download the open G apps you can download any version even though it is recommended that you download the nano version you can see that it is recommended over here after that we need to copy everything in our mobile we can also use a USB OTG or we can copy it to the internal and external that is our option now from here let's go to the phone So here I have my, okay, just let me focus, okay this is not focusing, yes here you can see that I have my Lenovo K4 Note and here I have already copied the files and my internal storage you can see that I've copied the files over here so let me what do is that let me just copy it to my I'm using the second space of the Lenovo and I'm using the the secured space so let me just copy it to the free space so that I can access it, access it via TWRP so just wait you can simply copy it to any space. I have done it in the secured space due to some reasons. So just let me copy it in the open user data so that it will be accessible by the TWRP mode. Just let me paste. So we can see that there is not enough memory. So I just need to delete a few files. Let me delete them. And after that I will be coming back to you later on. I'm just pausing the video till I copy it. Now that I've copied all of this to my internal storage, that is my open user data, what I'll be doing is I'll simply be rebooting my phone into the T, uh, TWRP mode. To do this, I'll be holding the power off switch and the volume up and down button. If you do not know how to install TWRP in your ROM, in your phone, I'll be giving a link in the description below to follow it. All you need to do is follow it. It will unlock your bootloader and flash TWRP and super SU in your phone. But keep in mind that your phone uh, will lose its warranty. While I enter into TWRP mode, let me tell you why Resurrection Remix is personally my favorite ROM. Resurrection Remix or the RR ROM is actually a ROM which comes from many other ROMs. It means that it takes the best features of all the ROMs and then what it does is it um, is that it plants it in one ROM. 
it means that you get all the best features of different ROMs into one ROM and that is why the Resurrection Remix is actually one of my favorite ROMs. You can see that uh, in my Moto G4 Plus I always use the Resurrection Remix ROM. I have been using it for, my, for over a month and I do not plan to change it. Now that we have entered into the TWRP mode, let me go to Wipe, go to Advanced Data, go to Dalvik Cache, System, Cache and Data. Do not select the internal storage or the micro SD card. Just these four options, it will wipe all your data, so be prepared for it. You can take a backup using the, uh, the titanium backup and it will always restore your phone to your previous state. Now go to install, select storage to whatever you have check, uh, taken. I have taken for me the internal storage so I go and I go down and then I flash the Arden 5.8.2 from here. So, so you can see that the maintainer and is Mohan please be sure to go to his forum page and at least drop a like it does help the developer you can also op it is optional but if you want you can also be uh, sending him some money or donating him through PayPal or anything but that is totally optional uh, you can also like and share my video for because it does help me in keeping my channel active the more subscribers i get it will also help me to be getting more active in the channel so what i do is i just wait till i flash this rom i'm pausing this video and after the rom has been flashed i'll again come back now that the zip has been finally flashed, what I'll do is I'll again go and flash the OpenG apps. The recommended is the Nano or Micro, but I'll be trying with the Mini as it helps me. So just flash it. Flashing will take a little bit of time and I'll again pause the video or oh no. As you can see that this one was not compatible with it and so I'll be trying to use any other build. I'll be using the micro version. Okay. So, due to some reason, the G apps was not flashed into my raw. Let's see why this happened. This happened because I believe I have used the wrong G apps in my phone. The G apps require open G apps cannot be installed on this device architecture. Please download the correct version for your device. That is the ARM64 version. So let me first download the ROM, the the G apps again, and then I will again come back to the video. Sorry, sorry for the problem. I have downloaded the file and I have copied it into my USB disk, USB OTG. So let me flash the open G apps. So it's the ARM64 version. I had accidentally taken the ARM version. So just let me swipe to flash it. Now it is recommended that you flash the nano or the micro version but in this video I am flashing the mini version. The only reason why they tell you to install the lower version is that you can download the extra versions from directly from the play store but i prefer the mini version this is just a personal choice and nothing should hamper it mm. 
so once the installation has been done I'll again come back to you now you can see that it has been installed and now what we will do is we'll remove the system the first reboot generally takes a lot of time and you will be need to be patient it might go up till 15 minutes so make sure that you have enough of juice left in your battery so as you can see that this is the resurrection remix logo for the nougat update and now what we will do is we will simply wait for the inst for the rom to boot up please make sure that you do not interrupt the process and it will be taking a lot of time once the rom has been booted up i will again come back now you can see that the rom has finally booted up and now we will set up this rom so Due to some reason it is taking Reliance Geo as Loop Mobile. We will look at this later on. So now we can see that it is searching for Wi-Fi networks and let's see if we can detect our Wi-Fi. So it has detected my Wi-Fi. Let me try to connect to my Wi-Fi. I have entered the password and now let's see if it is being connected. Yes, Wi-Fi has been connected and so we can say that the Wi-Fi is working. Now let me, now it is checking my connection. So it is asking for my Google account. Let me just put in the details. So I have put in the details and now let's see if it is working properly or not. I'll set this up later on. So for the time being, let me use the pixel launcher. So we can see that the ROM has finally booted up. And let's see, it is running 7.2. one point one over here as you can see it is on the latest security patch update that is of the march and also we can receive OTS through configuration if I'm not wrong M miscellaneous and here for the update we can check for the updates and that's it for the videos guys and if you have liked this video please do remember to subscribe to this channel for more such videos also drop if you want you can drop a like in the video if this video has helped you or not thank you oh yes before i go let me just remind you that if you want to use the mo the Geo 4G, all you need to go is go to settings, go to SIM cards, SIM settings one. Please make sure that it is in the SIM setting one, and just change the preferred network from 3G to LTE. And that's that. And you can see that in a while your 4G should be activated. If it does not, just reboot. Just in my case, it did not start so I'll, so rebooting should fix the problem 
or you can try to once just go in aeroplane mode and come back to see if it works or not so you can see that the tower has come rather than rebooting you can first just try to let it go into the aeroplane mode and if it has if it works then it's okay if it doesn't just reboot it and it should be working make sure that the preferred network type is LTE and not 3G and then your Geo 4G will be activated and that's that for the videos guys I hope you liked it and if you did please do drop a sub to this channel for more such videos